Hey everybody, it's Andrew with Braggins Adventures and it's time for another Pro Tips video. Remember for our Pro Tips video, we like to pour ourselves a beverage. This month, I've got a jalapeno lime margarita. Go pour yourself a drink and when you get back, I'm gonna give you my top five tips for doing Vegas on the cheap. And don't forget, at the end of this video, we're gonna announce the winner of our Pixar Fest giveaway. See you soon. This is Braggin's Adventures. All right, guys. Number one should be pretty obvious. You've probably done it. You've probably researched it. It's to do free activities. There is a ton of free stuff to do in Las Vegas, both on and off the strip, as well as in the downtown area. A few that come to mind just off the bat are located at Bellagio. You can watch the Fountain Show for free and you can check out their conservatory for free. Now, uh, are those necessarily exciting things that are gonna take up your entire vacation? No, but a bunch of cool little stuff like that is going to add up to a fun-filled day and possibly even a fun-filled trip. Other things I like to do for free in Las Vegas is just explore the hotels. Uh, you know what? Back in the 90s, uh, uh, late 80s, 90s, Vegas went through this boom change where they were like, we have to reinvent Vegas, and they try to make everything family friendly and kind of Disney-fy uh, the city. So, so we got places like Luxor and Excalibur and the, the MGM Grand that had the whole uh, Wizard of Oz theme in there. Uh, spots like Treasure Island with the pirate show out front, Bellagio with the fountains, the Paris, the Venetian. All these beautifully themed hotels and malls, inside many of them, are just really cool to walk around and look at. And it's also a great way to get out of the sun when you're in Vegas. So sometimes I just like walking around checking that kind of stuff out. Listen, I'm not gonna go through every free thing that you can do in Las Vegas in this video. Maybe I'll save that for another video. I do know that our next, uh, well, one of our upcoming Vegas trips, we are going to do only the free stuff downtown and then we're gonna do only the free stuff on the strip, but that's a ways away. In the meantime, just Google free things to do in Vegas. There's also a bunch of great YouTubers with videos out there. If you go to your YouTube search bar and type free things to do in Las Vegas and then filter your search results by upload date, you'll get the newest ones first and that'll be current and accurate information for you. So that's number one, do the free activities in Vegas. Number two, check out Groupon. Now this one's not gonna be as uh, bountiful as some of the other tips on this list. I feel like Groupon's kind of gone downhill in years past, but there are still a couple of really great finds there. One in particular is the High Roller. If you don't know what the High Roller is, it's this really cool like enclosed Ferris wheel right there on the strip. It's absolutely gorgeous views. It's about a half hour ride. It's kind of pricey, but you can get discount tickets through Groupon. Um, so that's one thing. There's a couple of food Groupons out there, but it's nothing that you're probably gonna wanna do when you go to Vegas necessarily. Um, uh, some of it's just like chain stuff. Um, there's a few other activities, but they're few and far between. Uh, Groupon does have some stuff though, so I highly recommend you make that your first stop uh, uh, when you're trying to find some cheap stuff to do in Las Vegas. All right, that's number two. Number three, we're gonna move on to the Vegas bike card. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. It's one of my favorite purchases. I think it cost me about $30, and it's good for a little over a year, depending on when you buy it throughout the year. And uh, they're regularly updating their partners. This is good for activities, it's good for food. You can go to their website, which I'm showing you right now, and check out what the current offers are. They're not necessarily gonna be the same as when you purchase the card. They're gonna change as, as the business changes, right? As they get new sponsors in and old sponsors drop off. But I've found value. I've probably paid for this card four times over in the times I've used it since I got it. Um, the, the, even, even if you're just looking for a late night bite at the food court at your casino, um, most of the, the quick bites on this website are located in those food courts and they're buy one get one so if you're traveling with someone else that's a great offer or 50 percent off a single so it's not like where you have to buy one get one you can use it as a 50 percent off coupon and that provides great value especially at a place like johnny rockets where that burger meal is pretty pricey but when you knock the price in half hey now you've got some value there it's a great way to help stretch your dollar in las vegas 
Don't worry, I'm linking in the description below. And let me say, I'm not sponsored in any way by Vegas Bike Card. This is my honest opinion about them. Um, they don't pay me any money. I don't get my cards for free. Um, although Vegas Bike Card, if you're out there, I would take a free card. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's a great product. I love it. Um, and we've used it for quite a few things out there. One of my favorite ones was a free beer at the Hofbrau House when you buy your entree. Um, free beer, guys. Can't go wrong there. All right. Up next for our number four tip, it's to get the MGM MasterCard. Now, we're MGM people, so I am gonna talk about the MGM MasterCard, but Caesars has its own card. You know, all the hotels have, have a card that you can get. I'm gonna talk about MGM because that's the one I know. So, when you sign up and you get approved for this card, you can get a bunch of bonus points, first off, which is gonna translate to comp dollars. Um, they always have that offer going on. But more importantly, you're getting upgraded to Pearl at MGM Properties automatically. What does that mean? Well, if you're a lowly, uh, uh, whatever their, I think it's Sapphire, their base level, uh, you're still paying for parking. Upgrade to Pearl means you have free parking across all MGM Properties. This means that with the way Vegas parking prices have shot up, you could still park for free at various spots throughout the Strip. Now. How does that become a benefit? What if you're not gonna go to various spots throughout the Strip or you're not gonna necessarily go to various uh, MGM properties throughout the Strip? Well, let me tell you. So, uh, uh, let's say I'm staying at Mandalay Bay all the way on the south end, but I wanna go visit maybe, uh, uh, oh, maybe I wanna go visit a Caesars property, let's say Horseshoe. Well, I can go park for free at Bellagio and just walk right across the street. Free parking. Um, they also, get you VIP check-in experiences at all the hotels. Even if you're not a, a super high platinum, whatever they call their top tier, you can still go to the VIP line for check-in services. Um, that's something I actually just learned. It's written right there on the website. I just never read it before. So if that check-in line at your hotel is like miles long because you happen to be getting there at 3 p.m. on a Friday, Look for the VIP check-in line or ask an employee about it and head to that one. It's probably a much shorter line for you and a much quicker experience. Uh, beyond that, just the fact that I can use that card and and uh, gain extra points when I'm at MGM Properties, it's three times points, two times if you're buying gas somewhere else and then one times for daily purchase. Those points do add up and then you're getting more comp dollars, right? And comp dollars means that you can eat for free, um, stay for free, that kind of stuff. I also have found that because I'm using that credit card for some daily expenditures, I'm getting more offers from MGM properties for comp rooms throughout the year, just like I'm playing. Uh, if you don't know, MGM uh, properties allows you to also get points for purchases. You don't just have to throw $100 in a slot machine. You can earn slot dollars, comp points, that kind of stuff, and tier credits based off your bar tab, based off your restaurant, based off booking the hotel room. Uh, using your MGM rewards card and charging everything back to your room, you kind of double dipping there, right? So what I like to do is everywhere I go, because you could charge at other properties back to your room as long as they're MGM properties. I charge it all to my room, and my MGM rewards card is the one that I'm paying that tab on. So I'm earning the comp dollars uh, uh, or the, the tier credits on the comp dollars from MGM rewards, right? And I'm also going to earn those points through the MGM rewards MasterCard. So I definitely think it's worth it as long as you're responsible with your credit. Um, there's not really a huge downside here. Of course, if you end up relying on that credit card and then you max it out, it's not gonna do you any good after that, right? It's just gonna be that initial period. So as long as you're paying your balance off monthly and you can be responsible, I think that's a great way to do Vegas on the cheap. I'm about to get to my very last number number one. This, And I'm gonna call this the number one tip for doing Vegas on the cheap. Take a sip. All right, my Vegas rewards. I know you've heard like tons of vloggers talk about it. On this most recent trip, I think I ended up using 17 My Vegas Rewards. Uh, from, from buy one, get one drinks, to complimentary drinks, to uh, uh, a free appetizer with your meal at various restaurants, right? Um, the monorail pass, two for one buffets, um, 
Oh, match plays. Match plays. We use those too. Just, just so many. And we were able to use 17 of them. So my Vegas Rewards is an award system for an app on your phone. You don't have to have it on your phone. You can play through Facebook um, on your internet browser. I find the app is a little speedier than playing on the browser. They also have like nine different games. So the main one I play is Vegas Slots, my Vegas Slots. They've got Pop Slots, uh, MGM Slots Live, I think it's called, uh, Bellagio Poker. Um, there's a Tetris game now. There's just, there's a slew of apps. And as long as you're logged in the same, and you do wanna make sure you're logged in the same to all of them through Facebook, um, your loyalty points pool for all that. And then you use those loyalty points to get these rewards. Now, there are some restrictions and sometimes it's kind of a pain. Restriction number one is some of them are premium rewards, like a complimentary cocktail versus a buy one, get one cocktail. That's usually considered a premium reward. You are only allowed three to four premium rewards over a 30 to 90 day rolling period. And that's gonna vary. The, the big problem with, with this whole system, and if you wrote them and asked them, they would answer this way, is that not everyone gets the same experience. For example, occasionally my wife or my son or my parents will have an award available that I don't have available. And when I call and ask about it, they go, well, everybody gets a different experience. Um, I think that's stupid personally, but we deal with it because of the value that we get out of these rewards. The other issue is that you um, uh, have to go to the MGM rewards desk at each property, cash in that reward, and then they load it onto your car before you can go use it. So on this most recent trip, and you're gonna see a video soon about this, uh, uh, we did a My Vegas Rewards pub crawl. So I used every possible buy one, get one, or complimentary drink I could, okay? Went to every MGM property that we could that had one of those rewards and cashed it in for a buy one, get one cocktail or a complimentary cocktail. Um, first off, uh, I have to go to the MGM's rewards desk at each of those properties, stand in that line, uh, hand them my card and say, I have a My Vegas reward I would like to add. Then they look up what that reward is because it's all tracked, right? Um, and then they ask if you want to add it. You have usually 24 to 72 hours to use it once you add it. Once you add it, you have now used it as far as the uh, app is concerned, okay? So you can't refund that. Once you have gone to the MGM rewards desk, you need to use that coupon now. Um, is that a huge deal having to go to that desk? No, as long as you're not in a hurry. Uh, um, I, I mean, there's value there though. What if you have the buy one, get one Bellagio buffet? That's a $65 buffet. Heck yeah, I'll go wait in a little line for $65. Um, even the cocktails, they're $20 cocktails, guys. Uh, I mean, you've drank in Vegas, you know. So buy one, get one free for that, that adds up. If I use 17 uh, uh, total rewards on my last trip, on a three-day trip, I mean, I essentially, I saved about 400 bucks between all the ones I used. Um, I haven't done the exact math, but I was doing it as we went. It adds up to about 400 bucks. Things I want you to remember with the My Vegas Rewards is, uh, they don't include tax or tip, right? So you, when you go, let's say you use a free uh, appetizer with purchase and your food bill is $100, but then they give you the $18 credit towards the appetizer, right? You need to tip on that $100 and you're gonna pay tax on that $100, right? Uh, don't don't cheap out and just pay it on the, uh, on the $82 tap, okay? You need to tip on the full amount because the server still did do the work for the full amount, right? Um, what else do I want to tell you about my Vegas rewards? Besides, it's just my favorite thing. Um, it's free. Did I mention that? It's free to play. They give you free daily chips. You just play. Um, as long as you touch the screen every now and then, you're earning loyalty points. They do cap you daily on how many loyalty points you can earn, and I'm not sure what that cap is. I Some days it feels real low, and some days it feels like it goes on forever, and again, everybody has a different experience. Um, so just do keep that in mind. Uh, I find that I just get up every morning. It's like the first thing I do. I open up the app, log in, right? And and collect my daily free bonus of chips and stuff and earn some loyalty points that way. And then maybe I don't play that day. And then other times, uh, maybe I play while I'm while I'm waiting uh, 
um, on the bus or something, you know, you just play a little bit. It's a fun game. I like playing slots. It's fun to pretend that I'm winning millions and millions of dollars even though it's not real money. But the rewards are very, very real. And it's a great way for you to do Vegas on the cheap. All right, so recap. Free activities, Groupon's website, the Vegas bike card, the MGM MasterCard, and then of course the My Vegas Rewards. These are great ways, especially if you're traveling with a larger group or a family, to help like mitigate that bill. Um, on top of that, uh, My Vegas Rewards, if you're not a huge gambler, you can use those loyalty points towards occasional complimentary rooms during the week or discounts on weekend rooms. Not to mention that they have value in cruises. Um, they partner with a couple of cruise lines. In fact, I just used some points to get a hundred dollar onboard credit on one of our upcoming cruises. Um, just all kinds of stuff, guys. Check it out. It's definitely worth it. Again, none of these things are sponsoring this video. These are truly my pro tips for you to do Vegas on the cheap. Now, I know what you guys are watching for right now. You want to get to the contest, so I guess it's time to give this away. This was the magic key. Um, it's like a little foam hand. It's from uh, the Turning Red movie. Little boop, boop, boop. Um, it's a Magic Key exclusive, so you had to be a Magic Key holder to get it. It says, Better Together, a Pixar Pals Celebration, um, which is uh, the name of the parade. Um, uh, we wanted to do something nice for you guys. So, let's look at the video now. Uh, I, we chose our winner yesterday. We recorded it for you. Uh, we use a randomizer. And let's see who won, and then, uh, and then I'll give you instructions on how to collect your prize. All right, so we use a randomizer, YouTube randomizer that chooses from the comments on the one video that you guys all entered on. It looks like our winner's gonna be Elizabeth Stoy, 5166. Okay, Elizabeth, it's pretty simple. Leave a comment on this video. Make sure you are logged into that same account. Uh, leave us a comment and then we will provide you instructions below that comment on how to claim your prize and how we're gonna verify you. Sound good? Hey, if you guys have not yet, please take a quick moment to click that subscribe button. Uh, uh, give us a like on the video if you enjoy our content. Ring that notification bell. We've got some changes coming to the channel that are really exciting. I want you to know when those happen. So definitely do that. Go interact with us over on social media. We love chatting with you guys. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and of course, here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.